Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. Indeed, Peter Obi have gotten a big one, and not just Peter Obi now, Labour Party as a whole. A lot of pundits, political pundits, a lot of political analysts in several quarters in Nigeria believe that Labour Party do not ha- stand a chance, even if uh, the youth have decided to make it a social media phenomenon or peradventure by a stroke of luck, according to them, uh, Peter Obi eventually emerges, if he emerges as the president of Nigeria. So the structures and the leader and policies will not let him remain for a long while as they may likely impeach him, judging the fact that uh, what makes up a party, what makes, what gives a structure to a party is not just in the people talking on social media, but the fact that there are humans in strategic positions to protect the interest of the party as a whole. With the example of the judiciary, the legislative quarters, especially places where elective positions are held, like the legislative uh, places like uh, the Red Chamber and the Green Chamber, which what, what I mean is the House of Rep and the Senate, of which Labour Party have not been seen uh, ably represented if it is not um, a PDP, it is APC. So a lot of pundits believe, political pundits believe that uh, Peter B stands no chance, even if he does he's definitely going to be impeached in no distant time with the right you know gimmicks to go by it but it looks like the labor party have gotten their first senators yes you heard me and i'm super duper excited okay let's find out exactly what is at stake in fact there have been a lot of cross carpeting here and there a pdp some have cross carpeted to apc apc some has cross carpeted to pdp in the northern region those who were unable to get their ticket um who were unable, a whole, lot of join, a whole lot of them joined APC with the hope of clinging the ticket and they were unable to, so they cross capital to PDP. And some of the PDP candidates who, for whatever reason, feel that they don't even have the strong um, push to be an opposition party have decided to move to the ruling party just to protect their interest. As it is, there is more to it right now. As the cross capital begins and keeps on moving on, more people are decamping from the various parties PDP and APC to Labour Party. Well, according to the news, uh, Labour Party has got its first seat at the Senate. Yes. And this is nice. Well, according to the news, the Labour Party LP has said on Wednesday recorded its first seat in the National Assembly as two more senators resigned from the All Progressive Congress APC and the People's Democratic Party PDP. The, the defection of the two senators was disclosed in separate letters read by Senate President Ahmed Lawan during plenary on Wednesday. Senator representing Imo East, Ezewa Francis Onyewuchi, who was elected under PDP, became the first Labour Party lawmaker following his defection to the party. Onyewuchi said, that his defection to LP would enable him to participate fully in the new Nigerian movement. My God, I wish to inform Mr. President and the distinguished senators of my defection from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the Labour Party, AP. Sorry, to the Labour Party, LP. This is after due consultation with my family, constituents, and supporters. This will enable me to participate fully in the movement for a new Nigeria. Onye Uchi said in the letter, he is feeling the vibes. He is feeling the tsunami. He is feeling the waves. Let's continue. Haliru Dauda GK, the senator representing Bauchi Central, also defected to the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP. Imagine if these two merges. As an NNPP and LP, my God, it will be it will be a third force. It will be a first force because third force will always be a third force. It will always be considered third before there will there will be a first, second, and a third. They will just be the first force first. Others will really, relegate really to second and third force, but it will take beyond that because the two of them, both Kongwaso and um, and Peter Obi, both of them are insisting on being the president. And while um, the two of them are hoping 
that the two would consider being the vice president. For Peter Obi, his hands are tied. If he dares to become the vice president, he will lose the goodwill of the people. He will lose his mandate. He may even politically, you know, ruin his career. The youth are, all of a sudden, they seem to be vibe. They, should, they, they seem to be alive. Everywhere you go, the youth are, are moving. If you, if you try them, if you try to stop them from, from getting the PVC, they do videos, they upload it on social media to ensure that um, INEC officials that are on ground are being brought to book or being brought to the limelight of what they are doing. So a lot of INEC officials are trying to do what they can, all they can to ensure that the youth get their vote or get their uh, registration done as quietly as they can. That's to tell you that all of a sudden, there's a surge. There was an election four years ago, but this kind of surge, which INEC is not even prepared for because they usually don't see it in this land. In fact, they will be begging people, come and register. We are in this so center. People just walking casually and registered. Now, this is this. It's the other way around. There's so much crowd. Even the INEC officials are saying, please hold on. The machines are un overwhelmed. That's to tell you that all of a sudden, there's a reason. The youth are not looking forward to voting because they've seen someone they believe have the mantra and the mandate to change the Nigerian they are looking forward to. But let's continue with the news. Where Chika was elected on the platform of APC, he cited injustice and lack of equity in his former party as the reasons for his defection. That's the Chika guy that's from Bauchi Central actually moved from APC, the ruling party, to NNPP. So, which means as the days go by, as small as small days are coming in, uh, as small days roll by closer to the election ground, we may likely be seeing uh, more defections. Now, you know that these politicians, they, they feel the vibes, they look at, they are watching where the waves is moving. Okay, so if they begin to see that the way things are going, Labour Party, you are calling structuralists, if the people are becoming the structure, isn't it better you move with the people, not move against the people? Usually, when you move against the electorate, you know, those days, I hope that it will be in the past. That's my prayer. Those days... If you're moving against the people, all you need is uh, induce them with some cash benefits, uh, some gratification. You just find out that you are able to cut that movement and they're not aligning, the youth are not aligning with you. Now, imagine a situation where the youth, even after giving them their benefits, their bribe, their, their uh, gratification, and they still refuse to vote for you. That means that's the telling you now that they are moving against the tides, they are moving against the wind, and it may not favor you. So it looks like um, the, the, the first labor, hey, they say there's no structure. The structure is forming. Even imagine now, more people defecting, more of these lawmakers defecting. Somebody said something that caught my attention. Say it's not a political party. Give it some time. The Labour Party will be infiltrated with some of these corrupt politicians, and Labour Party will look like them. But you know, it takes a while. You know, all good people cannot be one party. It's bit by bit until we look at the Nigeria that we truly desire. Kudos, I want to say congratulations to Labour Party for their first ever <laughs> senator, even though the elections have not come yet, but they've got one Labour Party senator, and that's good to celebrate. Let's listen to the conversation we also take. Do you have a